Everyone, uh, my name is Josh with nonperishablemarketing.com, and uh, I want to show you right now these things right here called favicons or favicons, and they represent the uh, the page. You can see the F for Facebook, YouTube, Dropbox, Gmail. Um, inside of Thesis, it already has favicon, favicon. Uh, embedded into the thesis options. If you don't have thesis, you need to download the plugin if you're using WordPress called Favicon. Um, you'll see that on my web page here, um, I don't have an icon. Neither does Facebook, by the way, um, and YouTube actually does. So the reason why Facebook does not have a, uh, a Favicon on this, and the reason why uh, my website liveleadtransfers.org doesn't either is because of the file format so when we want to create a favicon that works on explorer and um, like and uh, firefox and across all the browsers what we need to do is we need to save it in a specific format you'll see that um, you'll see that this doesn't have a favicon. You, the reason is that when you haven't saved it as that specific format. So what I'm going to do is say save as and um, you'll see this. It's called an ICO which is a Windows icon uh, image. So what we need to do is save it as that and uh, we'll just plop it on our desktop and we'll call it um, you know live lead transfers LLT okay so once we've done that um, it's a standard ICO now if we go back into here and we upload oh, I didn't select the file if we come back here and we upload the favicon with an ICO now all of a sudden um, that little graphic will appear in Explorer as opposed to not being there so uh, if you're having trouble getting that to appear in these browsers uh, that's how to do it you need to create an ICO file not just upload a JPEG because that'll work on everything except Internet Explorer and let's face it there's still a lot of people using Internet Explorer even though in my two cents it's the worst browser out there.